What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Final Fantasy VII Remake, the game that a lot of you guys know me from when I did the crazy reaction to that news. But I'm excited about this game, I've been really kind of cautious with some of the revelations that Square has kind of revealed about their plans on this remake. And this last little bit of information about the episodic nature of Final Fantasy VII has me a little intrigued. I'll drop a link in the description. Final Fantasy VII Remake will be multiple full-size games. Square Enix has clarified the episodic structure of its Final Fantasy VII Remake, stating that it will be comprised of multiple full-size games instead of a series of smaller episodes. The details were revealed in the latest issue of Game Informer, in which producer Yoshinori Kitase said the development team was using Final Fantasy XIII series, which encompassed a total of three games as the model. Quote, This reimagined epic will be the next core Final Fantasy installment, or rather installments. When the project was first announced, people were confused by its multi-part nature, but the goal is to structure it more like Final Fantasy XIII than an episodic series. It'll essentially be a full-scale game for each part of the multi-part series, in Final Fantasy XIII, each installment told the story from a different angle. It was kind of like approaching an unknown territory in a sense. Whereas with Final Fantasy VII Remake, we already have a pre-existing story. So it wouldn't really make sense if that wasn't encompassed in a multi-part series. So if we're just looking at each of these parts, one part should be on par with the scale of one Final Fantasy XIII game." End quote. Continuing, the cover feature reiterates previous statements that Square Enix is taking some liberties with the story to modernize it. Quote, I, along with Tetsuya, Nomura-san, and Kushigi Nogami-san, who are involved with the remake, were also involved with the original Final Fantasy. We were the people who created it, so in that sense, we don't think anything is untouchable. That isn't to say we're changing everything. As of yet, the first entry in the Final Fantasy VII Remake series has not been given a release date. The next game in the series will be Final Fantasy XV, which will launch on September 30th. This is really interesting news, to say the least. Uh, to me, the Final Fantasy VII game, all three discs were really huge. It was an open world. If they're able to convey that on each disc, maybe I'll like it. But if they turn it and turn it into a linear kind of experience on each disc, it'll take away that whole Final Fantasy type of experience. Or at least the Final Fantasy VII experience. Because you're able to travel the globe on your airship in Final Fantasy VII and discover different areas and monsters throughout the world. And if you're able to still do that in Final Fantasy VII Remake, I can kind of get alongside it. But the only thing that also kind of worries me is that they're planning on selling each one of these as a full price game. So it's going to be Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 1 for $60, Part 2 for $60, and Part 3 for $60. I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy that. One thing I can say for sure is I'm in on Final Fantasy VII Part 1. If that lives up and is worth the $60 price, then I may be looking forward to purchasing the other two if they can make it huge, open world, and robust. But if it's something that's just uh, lackluster, I'm going to really be disappointed with this remake. You guys let me know what you think about this. They're going to make each episode a full-fledged Final Fantasy game that's based on the Final Fantasy VII world. Does that sound entertaining to you? Let me know below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey,